Hey man, real quick, I've been trying not to say too much on all this, uh, all these riots and uh, and the police and, and police brutality because we know this shit been going on for um, hundreds of years, like literally hundreds of years. And so, you know, but I do put my opinion out there a lot of times, especially in the, you know, in writing, right? But, you know, and then there's a lot of people that come back and they apologize for the police or justify uh, the police killing people, right? And so their main go-to is usually along the lines of, oh, well, you don't know how it is to be a police. You can't speak on it being, a, you know, this being wrong or injustice because you don't know how hard it is in the streets being a police. You just can't speak on it. And I don't think that under any circumstances, if I went on a ride along with the police, right? I don't think that I would come back after my ride along, decompress from what I've experienced that day and be like, you know what? I can see why they kill the niggas out here. I can see it. I mean, cause he did have a stressful day. <laughs> he had a very stressful day of being the police that he signed up to be. That he's wearing a bulletproof vest with a whole gang of bammers that's going to come and help him as soon as he put the call out on the radio. He got 10 other cops that's going to show up because they all in the gang, right? They get out, they jump people, they kill them, they beat them. They rape them, they take their drugs, they take their money. They do all this shit while it's so hard being the police. And so I don't think I would ever come back after my ride along and empathize with the murder of unarmed people who ain't never done shit to these punk police. <laughs> I just don't see that being the case. Uh... You know, and so there, there's some elements, right? If you're dealing with a criminal element, that's completely different. But nobody's really out here protesting or feeling bad or or sometimes they are, but whatever. A lot of times these are not the 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 the, the, the frustration is not with criminal element shit. Right? Motherfuckers choosing to be involved in criminal activities, they getting shootouts with the police and all this fuck shit. I right that's what y'all do criminals and guess what police criminals shoot back <laughs> that's just what it is right criminals are committing crimes and they don't care about the law they don't care about authority they're going to shoot back they're going to stab back they're going to fight you they're going to run they're not going to pull over when you tell them to pull over but y'all treat the regular citizens the non-criminals just as bad or worse than you treat an actual criminal. And you expect somebody to have empathy for that? Hell no. And again, you can't just be out here killing recklessly without some kind of backlash and some kind of judgment. I don't give a fuck what your day was like. So unless no criminals was literally shooting at you, stabbing at you, trying to run you over with their car or whatever, if your life was dead ass in danger, that's different. But this is not what we be seeing, right? We all know that that's typically not the case. It's just not. If it was, the number of cop deaths would be high. I ain't never seen a report or nothing. I don't even trust data, but I've never seen anything that showed a high level of police dying on duty. Never. What you do see is police killing on duty. The number of people across the board that police kill and injure permanently on duty far exceeds any casualties and any injuries the police themselves have on duty. It's just real simple. So don't buy it, come over here with all this fuck shit talking about how hard it is being the police. Nobody... That's, you signed up for that, dog. I tell all my police friends and family, I always tell them, 
being a police, not the move, dog. Go be an EMT. You want to be a, a civil servant? Go be an EMT. Go be a firefighter. Go do something else that's helpful to life. That's it. You can you can you can give back to the community, help protect the community, all kinds of different ways. You ain't got to be a punk police. Seriously. Ain't nobody never y'all seen the meme, y'all seen this tweet or whatever law been going on for years. Ain't nobody never wrote a song called Fuck the Fire Department. <laughs> and don't nobody else, don't nobody hate an organization as widely as people hate the police. Nobody. Everybody hate the police. White, black, Asian, like, ooh, it don't matter who the fuck it is. Because they always doing some fuck shit. It's real simple. Every police across the world, don't nobody like the police. And here's the thing. The good cop, bad cop foolishness is another thing that I'm tired of hearing. They always, you know, I like Chris Rock's joint about the bad apples. He posted a joint, you know, back in his comedy special, talked about bad apples. Y'all need to go look that up if you haven't seen it. But how they, they, they say, oh, it's just a couple bad apples. And, you know, it can't be no bad apples. And here's the thing. Here's how it really is very simple. This all it comes down to. There can't be good cops if they don't arrest the bad cops. That is real simple. Enforcing the law is universal. Police can break the law. So if you're saying I'm a good cop, then you need to be arresting the bad cops that break the overall law. It's very simple, right? So if you don't do that, then you're complicit. It's real simple. I don't understand why this is debatable. So when y'all don't arrest the bad cops, you're complicit, period. So you're a bad cop too. Because you're watching it go down and you're not doing nothing about it. You're not even upholding your own oath to protect and serve. You're supposed to protect and serve the whole community against whoever is committing the crime. Not whoever committing the crime as long as they don't have as long as they don't have on a badge. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm talking about? So as long as y'all don't arrest the bad cop, you a bad cop too. Simple. Um, what else, man? I'm just tired of hearing all these bullshit ass excuses. Then y'all wonder why people wilding out. Of course, people gonna wild out. This is not the first time that man got killed on camera in front of his friends, in front of the nation at this point, and we still out here debating any of this. Like, what are we talking about? This ain't the first shit. We had Rodney King on on film. He ain't died. We had Rodney King on film years ago. Video ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing new about none of this shit. So y'all think people, this is, not, this is frustration built up for hundreds of years, centuries, decades. <clears throat> and everybody fed up, right? Because the police brutalize everybody. I always say they blue. They're not no color. They're not white. Ain't all white police. Ain't all black ain't po police. Ain't no, there's no such thing as a black police. There's no such thing as a Latino police. They're blue. All of them. And that's who they ride for. They ride for their people. And their people are blue. If you ain't blue, you ain't shit. That's just how that goes. So, it don't matter who pull up. If they blue and you not, it's over. And sometimes even if you are, you ain't even in their jurisdiction, they'll pull up on your ass too. I know police that are drive from here in D.C. and Maryland. They go down Virginia, North Carolina. Those boys down there don't give a fuck about their badge down there. <laughs> they bully them too. They brutalize them too. Because you ain't even in, his, in the right jurisdiction, homie. Shit, man. Get out of here with all that fuck shit. Trying to defend these reckless ass police, man. If y'all would have just locked them up and do all that internal controls off the first off the top, then you don't need to have a curfew in all these cities. 